Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the top five things you need to have a successful online course yeah you it, it's probably not going to be what you think it is but this is really what is the most important and we're going to talk about those five things that are most important in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so what are the top five things you're probably thinking it has to do with your topic has to do with the platform has to do with you know the the the, the lessons your equipment I mean all those things are important sure but they're not they're really they're not what I'm going to be talking about so we're going to get into that and I'm going to show you what I mean by the top five things to get a successful online course in in a moment and I just want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video the video is going to be at cis366.jsgagnon.com so because I'm going to be sharing my screen and uh, there's going to be a blog post as well which will give you maybe a better understanding of what all uh, I'm saying here right plus you know yeah you know, plus it's cool to see a video uh, when you can right you can see who the person is that's actually going to be one of the things that I'm going to talk about so let me just kind of show you uh my Facebook to kind of give you an idea of what kind of things I'm talking about so first of all let's go here all right so you see my Facebook right here I have I just posted this this morning two hours ago I have no engagement no comments and this is kind of interesting because I'm actually starting it this week I'm actually starting to talk about engagement engagement on Facebook and other social media platforms are very similar but I'm going to be focusing on Facebook and I'm going to basically talk about different things to increase Facebook engagement tips right so I'm going to talk about that and this is one of the things that helps to increase engagement is spending time posting uh commenting on other people's posts right uh so you know I got this COVID picture here I got a six seven eight people that comment that liked it or no comments and as you can see I might be saying <laughs> you got to do this to increase engagement but this is kind of going to be a proof that it <laughs> it does work it does do what I talked about so this one here has 12 comments that when I asked whether people would use a chrome extension that helps get more engagement and mainly the comments are all no <laughs> but that's okay that's kind of what I expected one of the things is but anyways I'm getting beside the point we're not talking about courses successful courses right now so you do know that I do have a platform right click ecourse.com which is a platform that I have that I built that is to host courses right if I go to the courses tab you can see there's a whole bunch of courses here and uh, lots of them I actually created now I'm just using this platform myself because I created the platform but there's lots of other platforms you know there's Udemy there's Teachable there's Skillshare there's uh hmm, anyways there's hundreds of them <coughs> I even found one called click for course <laughs> instead of click eCourse right the other day I tried to create an account on there but nobody got back to me so I guess they're not uh, active but in any case okay so what are the top five things I um I have a, a an image uh, uh I actually should have done this uh, differently let me just um sh go back to the webcam here because I need to do something here let's get that out of here and okay let's go back to the sh screen share okay so what are the top five things that you need to get um to get a successful course let's talk about the first where is my folder right here let's do a new text document let's call this notes okay so I have this over here let's put that right there uh that yeah there you go like this my Facebook let's go back to here this one okay so I have the top five things so the top five things so what are the top five things to have success a successful right the top five things have a successful online course well you might be thinking like I said right you'd be thinking about 
uh, your webcam your your equipment right you got to have a good camera you got to have a good microphone well let's just say let's just say it's not these things although although they are important let's just do that like this okay so it, it um your microphone quality right so it's it's you know it's good to have a good microphone it's good to have a good you know good uh, camera so it's your ca your camera right it's good to have a good camera uh but that's not the most important things that's not one of the five imp most important things and um, it's uh it could be your uh editing software right software so um I use uh here let's actually do that so microphone quality I use my laptop and phone mic right just I just use the laptop and the phone microphone to record my courses to record this episode to do uh, my lives all this stuff right so your camera I use my laptop webcam and my phone camera right so I mean that's that's all I do I just use those right those are the those are they're they're fine your editing software can it, it could it be your editing yeah that's important you got to have a good editing software but at the same time well so I use open shot and windows uh what is it called windows movie movie maker which by the way you can't get anymore on windows 10 you got to download an old thing and I I actually I'm not using that anymore now but and then there's other tools there's a window there's other anyways there's other free tools I just use those right so what else could it be uh, your editing your editing skills right your editing skills are you know they're okay they're they're it's important to have good editing skills but you could always hire somebody else to do that right but uh, that's not one of the top five things so your editing skills I I I just learned 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 over time with YouTube YouTube videos right I just you know search whenever I'm not sure I do a search for open shot uh, adding this or open shot this or whatever the tool I'm using and you know that's basically it okay what else um what else are things that people commonly okay so your on camera um I guess I could say skills right so your on-camera skills your ability to talk to the camera to talk to the to your audience to be able to you know uh, reach out and and have a conversation on camera right like this like right now I'm recording this camera I'm basically I'm not doing multiple takes you could do that so I just I just start I just click record record and go most times right I mean I might have to pause it to go do something or things like that which is cool because I use a soft a tool called OBS uh actually your microphone your camera what the editing software editing skills um okay let's just say your recording recording software right I just use OBS <coughs> and live 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 uh social apps right so I mean for example that's another one you know your recording software is that really important I use OBS which is a tool I don't know we can probably show you what it kind of looks like it's basically this it's gonna you see how it's like because I'm sharing the screen so now it's showing me the screen in the middle here plus this is but this part here this black part area here that's where you configure things right you set it so that you have uh different uh, different inputs you have different different things you're you can have different microphones different videos different cameras and then there's different things you can anyways it's, it's pretty complicated what you can do but I I use it really simply to just record my screen record my webcam and kind of share this kind of stuff with you right so I mean that could be important but it's not one of the top five things okay so let's get let's get to the top things so what are the top five things that will okay what are the top five things let's just say that that's what are the top five things right what are they so this is my understanding or my knowledge over time right because I've been doing this uh, for over five years now doing Facebook lives doing all sorts of different videos I've been learning over time I've been 
growing my audience I've been uh, creating content on social media I've been doing you know stories on on the snapchat Instagram Facebook different platforms I mean I've been doing all those things over the last five years and I'm still I'm still not the expert right I'm still not the most knowledgeable I'm still not the best but I can tell you one thing that's for sure is I do have more knowledge and more experience than somebody who's starting out today and that's just normal because anything you do you keep doing over and over and over you will get better I mean one of the things that I learned uh just as an example is I don't smile that much and when I look at other people I I I'd smile more now than I did when I started if I look at my older videos I'm really just like this and you know welcome to my blog this is Jean Serge Gagnon and I wanted to welcome you because I have all sorts of great stuff on here right so isn't that that's awful but when I first started that's what I was doing and I was like ah and when I look at it today and actually you know when I was doing that back then I actually thought I wasn't that bad and you know what I wasn't as bad as somebody who didn't do anything who didn't take action even though when I look at it today and when I think about it today it's like it's like it makes me feel like oh my god how could I possibly have been this bad right but anyways okay so what are the five things what are the five things okay number one I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it to you number one number one to have a successful online course you're like I said you're you're probably gonna be surprised because I'm sure you've heard this before but this is truly the most important thing that you need to have a successful online course this is it number one they need to know you they need to know you they need to know who you are I mean I can have the best course best camera recording best editing software I can spend tons of money on on the best course and go out there and say hey this is my course and you know I I I well, you know and I have money to do ads I have money for everything and I can start doing all that and yeah you know what I will get sales if I have enough money to spend on advertising I have enough money to show it to a ton of people let say on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or Instagram or whatever on all those platforms using money to do advertising yes they will buy my course but if you compare how much sales you get versus how much money it costs you to get those sales you're probably not going to be making a profit unless unless you have the totally insane course that's worth you know a hundred thousand dollars and it costs you know a crazy amount to get one sale obviously that price would take a lot but maybe maybe you'll get right if you do your advertising right there's a whole bunch of things about marketing oh that by the way this is another thing oh actually yeah, I'm not going to put that in the not these things because it kind of is an important thing is knowing marketing right but it's not necessarily one of the top five but you know it's up there all right so uh number and what do I mean by need people to know you so if you go to a family barbecue you know the neighborhood barbecue and you start talking to people about your thing you're selling that doesn't really work either right but if you go to that family barbecue regularly go there and every let's say there's one every month or every even every week or whatever and you just you know do the getting people to know you is getting people to know you like you just have conversations with people you just ask them questions about themselves which they'll turn around and ask questions about you and you have these conversations that have nothing to do with your course nothing to do with what you're trying to sell you know after a month or so or well I guess I should say after five or ten times of you being at this barbecue and talking and getting to know people and all the neighborhood people start to know who you are and what you do and you know where your house is and what your family's like and what your what your background is you know what's your job whatever right and you say hey you know what I just created a course that has to do with x whatever the topic is because they know you is why they'll be interested about it because they know that you you know care about them because they know that you're interested in them because they know you and that's not the only reason we'll we'll get into the other the other uh, four of the top five but that's one of the things that's super important they need to know you they need to know you if they don't know you they're not going to be buying from you that's a guaranteed thing unless you spend so much in advertising so that they get to know you because you know that's the 
goal of advertising right you spend money and money and money on advertising so people get to know you so that means you have to have content that explains who you are and why you're doing this course and what they're going to learn from this course and all these things so you can do all this ads right but that's a lot of money and most people don't have any money I certainly don't have any money to spend on that but that's the number one thing is get they have to know you you need for people to know you now am I seeing my is that showing right yeah yeah okay good <laughs> all right so whoops I got the next one number two number two number two of the top five things you need to have a successful online course number two is what happened to this why, why is it not there no oh I'm gonna I'm on the wrong uh, <laughs> there it is okay so number two right number two is again number two is the the next most important thing that you need you know if you don't if they don't know you well you can't even get this second one right they have to first know you and I'll talk to you after I've gone through the five I'm going to talk to you how you get those things how you get there right number two you need for people to like you you know it's great that they know you you know they know that you um uh, sell stuff they know that you have a job they know that you've got these online courses they know that's not what I mean by knowing you because if they know that about you but don't know anything else they're probably not going to like you because they're going to think you're a salesperson all you're trying to do is sell them stuff so you know having a great course and then them finding out that you have a course in other words go around the neighborhood knock on the doors and say hey I've got a course to sell but they don't know you they're not going to like you right they got to get to know you at a personal level they got to get to know you at a you know human level not as a salesperson not as a a person who's who's got something to sell even even if this thing that you have is the most important thing that they need to get in their life it doesn't matter they don't care they don't know you and they don't like you they don't care <laughs> they don't care about your amazing course so even if it's a dollar you know twenty dollars something crazy low it doesn't matter they're not going to be interested in your thing if they don't know and like you so they have to know you and for them to like you they have to know you on a personal level on a personal scale on a personal you know they it's it's yeah you don't have to have your whole life you know your whole private life all out there in the public whatever but you have to have some of it so that they know that you know you're like me I'm a father I have a wife I have a house I I have a day job all these things that you know about me I like flowers I post all the time about my flowers uh my stories I like to do my gardening and make sure my house looks nice I I like all those things right so if you know this about me and you like that I'm a gardener and that I like to do those things then you're probably going to like me right but if you don't know any of that stuff and all you know is I have this platform and I I want you to sign up and I want you to buy this course and I want you to do this you're not really going to like me because I'm just you know one guy that's trying to sell you something right so that's uh that's number two number two now we're going to get to number three number three what is number three number three number three where's number three number three is over here actually I have to do this number three is this one here so again number three is just the same as the other ones in the sense that if you don't have number one and you don't have number two number three won't matter you won't be able to get it you have to have number one and number two in your pocket before you can have number three so let me just uh, show you what is the third thing that you need out of the top five things you need for a successful online course number three is you need for people to trust you they have to trust you <laughs> and you know for somebody to trust you they really do have to know and like you and that's why I'm saying it doesn't matter you can't get people to trust you without them knowing and liking you so that's where advertising comes in right when you're doing advertising if you don't if you have a lot of money to do advertising and by the way I'm not talking about you spending tons of money on advertising that's not what this is all about and that's not how you get these these three and then actually the five things it's not by having tons of money spent on advertising but I just want to kind of explain to you the difference right if you do spend tons of money on advertising your goal 
is to get people to know like and trust you because if you don't it's not getting them to see your thing it's not getting them to like even if you if you're long, if you're on Facebook right and you, you scroll through things and you see an ad for something that you might want and you click it you're not going to buy it unless you know the company you've had dealings with them before or there's a lot of you know what we call social proof right other people saying that they had good experience with that company or with that product other people saying that they bought it and it came in on time other people saying that they bought it and it didn't break and it's working great for them and you know though that's social proof because you don't know that person that company but other people do so that that helps you to understand that maybe you should know like and trust them because other people know like and trust them all <coughs> right but that's what advertising is for and it, there's other things you do for that too but my point is that that's why people that don't have time to build all this which we're going to get into in a second do spend money and have money obviously spend on advertising to build their um no like trust factor we call right we build your no like trust factor those three things are you know the most important in any kind of sales it doesn't matter what kind of salesperson you are if you have something to sell you can't just go out and sell unless the person already knows you and they already trust you and they like you right and they're not going to trust you if they don't like you that's kind of how how the whole process works right those three things <coughs> okay so number four number four you're going to be like okay well what what is number four then if it's none of those things right if it's none of the recording or the stuff or the tools or anything like that what's number four you're going to be like well okay so number four is you need people to follow you to see and see your content so we're talking about social media here we're talking about online branding we're talking about personal branding online marketing those kinds of things we're talking about social marketing and um you know that's one of the things that happens with social online marketing like me when I go to my Facebook page you can see that I have can you see I can see I have 4,000 friends I have 4,000 friends I'm not getting any any comments on this how's that possible right we'll get to that I'll explain to you why and I'll also explain to you why this uh this tip here is important and something I don't actually do I haven't done because I've got other things going on but that is going to make a huge difference I'm going to post something in a week from now after doing this and I'm going to get tons of people because I'll be doing this whenever I do this and when I post that's then I get people uh in you know seeing my stuff and that's one of the that's that's a that's a reciprocity rule and that's something to do with how social media platforms work not because not because that's how they programmed it but they programmed it because that's how it works in human life like for example if you're if you're going to a, a barbecue this is the first time you ever go to a barbecue right in your neighborhood and you have um let's see and you have what can I give as an example well I don't know maybe you're, you're you're there with your baby right you have a baby yeah the baby's gonna get lots of the attention people are gonna say that's look at that baby but not everybody is gonna come and say hello to the baby right now if you're go if this is the 10th time going to the barbecue and this is your your, your you don't have a baby but now you you know after the 10th time you have a baby but every single time before that you always went to see other people and complimented them on their clothes or complimented them on their kids being well behaved or whatever you do right if you are constantly engaging with other people at that barbecue that 10th time when you go everybody that's there that's seen you before is going to come and say hello and tell you how amazing your how cute your baby is or whatever right everybody will because you've engaged with them before and social media is no different they they didn't do it because you know they wanted to do it that way they basically you know kind of like replicate human behavior in real life and you have to do that and if you don't realize that that's the thing you know, lots of people are like they post things on Facebook and they're like how come am I not getting any likes any comments well because you're not doing it yourself before you post and it's not 
and you know some some uh online um, gurus or whatever they tell you you know in the morning do your thing and then post in the afternoon they're telling you about these schedules and all these other things but you know in the end what's important is you have a consistent schedule of things you've got to do it all the time the same way and we're going to talk about more about that but if you want people to know like and follow you know like and trust you they need you need to be posting content and you need to have a following you need to have friends or you need to have a page and some likes or you need to have an Instagram with followers or other social platforms right um connections on on LinkedIn uh, followers on Twitter etc right so you got to be posting content they have to be following you to see your content if they're not following you yes some uh, times some of your content will be shared on their timeline anyways because especially if you post it as public but <laughs> typically it will not be you know um it will not be seen unless they're following you so you need to have a following and then that's okay so now number five the fifth reason the fifth thing you need to get a successful online course right to have a successful online course is number five which is probably one of the things you thought would be the first thing the most important thing is you got to know what you're talking about so if you do a course on social media engagement like I'm gonna probably do one as a as I do this I have to be able to say that I know what I'm talking about I have to be able to I have to know my topic I have to be I you know you don't necessarily have to be an expert but it's got to be more knowledgeable than the person that's going to you know buy your course and and that's one of the things like if I do a course on Facebook engagement I have to go through the process of showing that I know what I'm talking about or people well I don't I guess I don't have to I don't have to go through that it should be automatic if you don't know what you're talking about it's going to be kind of obvious people are going to be able to see that you don't know what you're talking about when they look at your content but it's like I said it's important to know what you're talking about okay so now I promised you that after I've went through those five things that I would actually show you how you get this and why are these so important like I said you could spend money on advertising you could spend a ton of money on advertising but what what I'm going to do is in the next episode I'm going to be talking I'm going to get into more details on this but for now I'm just going to tell you to get people to know you to like you and trust you these these number four the first four things that are on that list they all go together they all have to do so how do you get so so let's see how how do you get people to know like and trust you right how do you get people to know like well actually let's say no like trust and follow you so for them to know like and trust you <laughs> you have to create content regular regularly okay so I recommend daily it could be weekly it really depends on your schedule and depends on other things but there's lots of lots of uh different people teaching this right uh, gurus and all that online but basically you have to be creating content so for me and I'm probably not the best um at at, at you sh I'm probably not the best example to follow because I don't really have a lot of time and I'm posting everywhere some say post on one platform right which I'm not doing I'm posting on Instagram Facebook LinkedIn Twitter I'm, I'm posting everywhere and I'm not saying that's bad but it's also not how you get lots of people to know like and trust you the best way for people to get to know like and trust you is for them to see your stuff so you got to post content daily and you have to be uh engaging on other people's whoops people's stuff daily as <laughs> well if you don't if you don't engage on other people's stuff well they're not going to see your stuff because the platform will not show your stuff to them and that's why it's important to do the engagement I'm going to I'm going to kind of get more into that like I said in the next episode but that's that's really it's really just the if you do these two things and you find out how to do those how do you how do you come up with content how do you how do you you know what kind of engagement do you need to what do I mean by engagement what does that mean to do that how why are all those things if you want to find out about that just make sure you go and listen to the next episode it's going to be you know I I right now I'm posting episodes every week so 
you'll if depending on when you see this one maybe the other one's already done but otherwise you'll have to wait for the next one but we're going to talk about that even though I've done that before I've talked about that before as I get more experienced with the online world and I can show you more what happens like I said right now my Facebook is it's like nothing right there's nothing nothing on my Facebook there's no content or at least I should say I'm posting content but I'm not getting any real you know uh people uh engaging on my stuff and why don't I get engagement because my engagement is not there I'm not engaging I'm not really spending time which I will be doing but that's why so if you do that all that's going to happen for you all right so let's uh so yeah so that's how you those are the top five things you need to get on a successful online course so we'll see you in the next episode have a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.